Hey guys, what's up? This is Billy J Bob 5000. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get that advanced option on having users log in with a username and a password. So, first things first is you guys are going to have to download two files. One file allows you to get advanced user options in uh, your uh, user account management. As you can see here, I have advanced user accounts. You guys will not have this unless you download the file that I give you guys. In my documents here, here's the first file at advanced user accounts, and then log in with username and password. This is the first file you guys want to download. Double click it and um, just follow the steps. It says hit OK and enter and whatever. It's fairly simple. And what that does is it allows you to get this user option right here. And then, as you can see here, here's your usernames for your computer. That's mine, that's my sister's, that's my mom's. Say uh, my sister has a password on her account. I don't want her having a password. I could click reset password and have a password reset. I can also add remove users and I can also um, mess with their properties. Here, her username and then her full name and then her description. If you go to group membership, you have lever levels, standard user, administrator, or other. If you click the other box again, you get this option to click here. You could set different users to be able to do different things like uh, network manager gives you a description down here of what that person does. Backup operator gives you another description and remote desktop users meaning they could remotely connect to from a computer to this computer to their account but I have them just set as a basic home user go ahead click apply click OK next thing is make sure this box up here is checked make sure that the user is logged in with the username and a password and come over here click advanced options down here secure login Require users to press Control Alt Delete. Make sure that box is checked, and click Apply. Click OK, and you could go ahead and exit out of this. Next file you want to open is Login with Username and Password. This makes uh, users log in with a password, log in by typing their username, and log in by typing their password. Double click on this. Click Run. Click OK, and click OK. After that, you guys will be able to log in by entering a password and a username. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, you're going to want to restart your uh, computer. Um, I want to show you guys I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate, not Windows Enterprise. After you restart it, you'll see on the screen it says press Control alt delete I'm going to go ahead and press Control alt and then delete. And as you can see here, um, the picture icon comes up and it says username password go ahead enter in your username mine is Adam my password can't tell you go ahead click you could click enter or just click the uh, arrow button here whatever and as you can see, I am now logged into my desktop. And uh, yeah, that's how to get a uh, username and password entering screen. Thanks for watching.